I have tried to film this video maybe three times and everything goes wrong every single time. I shared a video on my Instagram about a few months ago and it went absolutely viral because I did not know that people do not know this. Sometimes you think that simple things, people just kind of like, just, I guess, know. And so many of you wrote comments like, how did I not know this? How was this not obvious? I wanna do a quick pause and just introduce myself because this is new to me. I am new to the whole YouTube world and journey. My name is Yara. I'm known as Nurse Yara on Instagram. I own Mirror Clinics here in Ontario. We have two locations, one in Toronto, one in Milton, Ontario. I also train globally. So if you find that after a few hours of wearing makeup, your skin ends up looking like this, you feel like the products are kind of separating, it's because the main ingredient ingredients in your products don't actually match. For example, if you're mixing a water-based foundation with an oil-based moisturizer, oil and water, they're just gonna separate. It's gonna separate immediately. I'm gonna be sharing the products and the layering that works for me. My skin is combination a little bit more normal nowadays. Once you've mastered that one trick, your foundation and just your makeup in general is just gonna stay as is for the entire day, night. So let's start from the basics. You don't need to understand every single ingredient that is listed. You just need to understand the overall base of the product that you're using. For example, if you're gonna use a moisturizer that is water-based, it's usually going to say hydro or aqua or even just water at the very beginning. If the ingredient is mentioned at the very beginning, that usually means that this product is primarily a water-based product. If this product is silicone based, it's going to start with something like dimethicon, anything ending with con. And same thing for oil based products, it's going to usually have an oil base. So here's a perfect example of how I layer my product. Because my skin is combination and sometimes can get dry, I will go for something a little bit more hydrating. So something that is water based. So my moisturizer is going to be water based and then my primer is going to be water based and my foundation is going to be water based. Now, now, for my concealer, I can use something that is combination. A lot of concealers are actually a combination of water and silicone. So you can use those concealers with bases that are silicone or water. If you are oily, then you're gonna want to pay attention to more silicone products. A silicone mixed product, so a product that contains silicone and water will actually be a perfect base for either one. After using a water-based moisturizer, I'm going to go in with the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter. This is primarily a water-based product. Ingredients on it begin with aqua, which is water, indicating that water is actually the main component here. So if you look at the rest of the formulation, it includes hydrating agents like glycerin and propanidiol, which are also common in water-based products. Next, I personally like to go in with the Patrick Ta Foundation. This is the Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. It is a mouthful, but since it actually says Hydra, in the actual name, it kind of does give you a little indication that this is probably a moisturizing water-based product. If you look at the ingredients, the ingredients first lists water. And also there's other hydrating agents just like the primer before it, like glycerin and propanidiol. This foundation does not contain any silicone guides. So if you are oily, you wanna stay away from this foundation at all costs. Next, I'm gonna be wisely choosing my concealer. Now your concealer can either be water-based or water-based and silicone-based. This is an example of a concealer that you should not be using. Though I love all the Westman Atelier foundation sticks and the concealers, they are mainly an oil-based product. So if you look at the formulation, you have squalene, you have camellia seed oil and coconut oil. So this is going to be more of like a creamy texture, also has hydrating properties, but 100% silicone free. So this is going to be perfect for someone with really, really, really dry skin. My go-to concealer when I'm using water-based products is the Hourglass Concealer. The Hourglass Concealer has water as its first ingredient, and then it has a lot of 
silicone compounds as well. So dimethicon, methicon, um, polysilicone 11. So those silicones will actually make the product smoother in texture, but also make it a little bit more long wearing. What this means too, is that you can use this concealer with a foundation that is either water-based or silicone based. So this concealer works great for any skin type. Let's say you have no idea how to read ingredients and you this was just very confusing to you. There is a really easy way to do it. You could just take a picture of the actual product. So I'm gonna be doing it right now to show you guys. One of my favorite, favorite foundations of all time is House Labs. Um, it has a little bit more coverage than the one I'm wearing right now. Um, so I don't use it as often, but it is so, 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 so good. So without looking at the ingredients, I'm going to show you how you can just find out what the um, main components of this foundation is. Okay, so you're gonna take your phone and just go on to ChatGBT and you're gonna go to camera and you're just gonna take a picture of your foundation or product, whatever you're using. And then you're gonna say, um, can you tell me based on the ingredients, of this foundation, what is the base? Okay, so it's going to tell you right away that the House of Labs Skin Tech Foundation is primarily water-based and it's just gonna lay it out to you right here. And it's, I got a lot of questions like, okay, what about the bronzer and the, uh, the setting spray as well as you know the blush um, usually I like the more creamy or liquid formulations um, but if you're going for powder it should be okay as long as you set your face first you don't just want to put you know a, a powder on top of an oil you want to just set your face first if you're using a lot of powder products if you're like me and you don't use many products that are powder just make sure that the ingredients of your liquid um, bronzer, your liquid blush also match. It's super easy to do and it makes sure that your skin just stays put and your products don't separate throughout the day. I hope this was helpful. Please do not forget to encourage me to post more by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. As I mentioned, this is the beginning of my YouTube journey. I'd love for you to encourage me to post more. Um, it's a little harder than you think to kind of muster up the energy and to set this whole thing up. So I hope this helps. And if it did help, let me know.